Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 23rd. Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. Uh, typically these readings play out for me in the next few days, so we're just going to see what comes up. Figured I'd get this done before... My friend shows up. What do we have for a message today? Queen of Cups. Now, it is sideways, but it was going to come out reversed. So the Queen of Cups reversed is deep sadness, heartbroken, disappointed, um, wishy-washy. Hmm. Ace of Cups reversed right next to it. Interesting. Interesting how I started this reading out. Um, not really open hearted. Not really open. If somebody isn't really open to love, this is shutting down emotionally. It is. It's an emotional shutdown of some sort. emotional blockage thinking about investing but maybe it's I don't know looks like this could be a dead end um, Queen of Cups reverse is emotionally withdrawn somebody is emotionally withdrawn not willing to open their heart or give their heart away or something like that there could be some disappointment here some emotional disappointment that is coming by the looks of things and the sounds of things <clears throat> heartbreaking I mean what more can I say? There is no such thing as coincidence. There isn't. There's no such thing as coincidence. So if that, when you hear sirens, obviously there's something that is happening that is probably heartbreaking. And this is heartbroken. I mean, there's some sort of emotional disappointment here. There could be some tears that are shed, okay? A lot of tears. This could be unable to master emotions, crying, tears, sadness, whatever. Um, deep sadness. We could also have somebody here that is drowning in their emotions. They can't master their emotions. They can't master their feelings. Emotional breakdown, crying, crying. Three of Cups reversed. Well, this is uh, unhappiness. This is unhappiness. It is uh, losing friendships, losing a partnership, something like that. Because of the Three of Cups reversed, it could be um, dashed expectations in a relationship or a partnership something not happening the way that you thought it was going to happen there could be third party interference when I get the three of cups reversed sometimes I think of a termination there's a lack of emotional growth here for sure and there's parting ways I feel like there's some sort of competition here Three of Cups, I mean, we may have some gossip. Oh, something's not working out. Eight of Pentacles reversed. That's not putting in much effort. Somebody's not putting in much effort. They're not trying very hard. 
to uh, have fun, there's not having any fun, not socializing, not opening up their heart, or shutting down emotionally, deciding not to put in effort. And there could be sadness over somebody not putting in much effort, not trying hard enough. Because this is deep sadness, it's deep sorrow, it's tears being shed. There could be third party interference. That's why somebody isn't putting in much effort. And something's not working out. Some This, is, this could be like an unrequited love situation. I mean, the Queen of Cups reversed is... Uh, not open, not open to uh, loving unconditionally, put it that way. This is somebody who is withdrawn and doesn't communicate, is not communicating right now. Or if she is communicating, she may be communicating in a vindictive manner. Eight of Swords. Now the Eight of Swords is trapped. It is uh, mental, a mental prison. We have somebody who, or a mental turmoil. Somebody is in a place where they are, they need to break free from this situation that they're in, but they can't find the mental strength to do so. And I feel like there's some sort of moping going on or crying going on, maybe even overdoing it, you know, um, with an addiction, maybe there's some sort of self-medicating going on. There's definitely tears and sadness and uh, probably some self-loathing. We have somebody here that can break free from this mental place that they're in, from this situation, but they're choosing not to. They can escape, but their, their mind won't let them. This is somebody who cannot master their emotions at all. They can't break free from the thought. And I feel like they're thinking about somebody that they are emotionally connected to. And they're, and they're having a really hard time. They're, they're having a hard time because whoever it is that they're dealing with isn't putting in any effort. And this person isn't putting in any effort. I feel like because there's somebody else or this is unrequited love. It's one-sided. temperance and this is going overboard and I, it's interesting that I didn't really it, it doesn't really say it in the cards but I felt it this is extremes there's no intimacy there's a lack of intimacy there's a lack of, of togetherness here we, we have somebody here that is not evolving they're refusing to accept refusing to accept and allow that something is over it's time for a change, but we have an individual that is struggling in their mind. They can break free from this, but they're choosing not to. They're choosing to stay in this web of lies because this is a web of lies. It is a web of lies. So we have, but I feel like it's, it's a self situation, self deception. I feel like there's been a termination of a relationship because somebody wasn't in love or they didn't have feelings for it. And we have somebody on the other side that isn't accepting it. The temperance reverse is lack of acceptance. And it is also going overboard. There's self-medicating here. This is inappropriate behavior. Very, very frustrated profound uh, self-healing is needed with because this is a lack of self-healing a lack of acceptance right and I think we have somebody here that is really frustrated that things aren't going in the direction that they want them to go and it's because I feel like they're just not seeing things clearly and it's because of their emotions they could be in, I'm gonna say it fantasy land reminiscing romanticizing something you know with a person that didn't love them anyhow i feel like there's a loss of emotional content 
um, because there's nobody coming. There's nobody coming to break free. To, you have to do it yourself. There's nobody coming. You know, somebody is is stuck in a situation that they don't. Nobody's coming to save them. You have to break yourself free. We got two eights right next to each other. It's time for a change. It's time to reevaluate the situation. So I do feel like there is a reevaluation going on, and that's where the tears are coming from. You're going to die in this situation, or are you going to remove yourself from the situation? So there is a need for healing, and there is a need to accept, and there is a need for balance. Something is off. Something is off. I I feel and I feel like we have denial here. Queen of Coins. Queen of Coins is stable, hard working, loyal, protective. I think we have somebody here that is very enlightened shining there's some sort of shining here this is the queen of value self-worth and self-value somebody needs to know their value this may in this temperance card is a life lesson Somebody maybe have been taught a lesson of self-love and self-value, but they're still trapped in that mindset from the past. And there's a need, definitely a need to reevaluate and uh, realize your value and your worth. It may require you to terminate a relationship or a friendship. If it hasn't already happened. Now, the Queen of Coins is uh, very devoted, hardworking, business oriented. Investing, investing in something. It's time to go. It's time to plant the seed someplace else. This time is up. This season is over. So we have a very capable person. This, we have somebody here that is very capable of abundance. They are capable of uh, growing things, but they will need to be practical. This is ungrounded. We have somebody here that needs to get grounded. They need to get real. They need to get practical. And they haven't been grounded. They have not been grounded at all. This is somebody who has been letting the, um, their emotions get the best of them. It's time to master emotions and you know, get real, get practical. So I do feel like this is about investing in the future and... Uh, being realistic this time is over it's over there's nothing left here it's harvest time it's time to go it's time it's time for a change it is time for a change and i feel like we have somebody here that is becoming enlightened or they get they become enlightened and i feel like they're parting ways from a relationship or a friendship that no longer serves them because it's almost like they realize that this is a trap it's some sort of somebody has been trapped in a situation that is not healthy it's not there's been a lot of deception there's been lies there's been cheating there's and maybe and a lot of self deception as well and i say that because of the 8 of swords what comes before the 8 of swords the 7 of swords which is deception, whether it's self-deception or deception from another person. I feel like there's been denial, and I feel like there's some sort of awakening here, okay? This is a realization that this time is over. Not This is short-lived success, something that, that yeah, it may have grown for a little while, but it's over. It's, it's time to go. Anyhow, um, 
Queen of Wands. Is, and, and I also feel as though we have somebody here that is wanting to invest in somebody that is more stable, more solid, more secure. Somebody that can master their emotions. And we have two people here. We got one person that is very wishy-washy, that cries all the time, that uh, throws little hissy fits, that... Uh, is hypersensitive and then we got somebody that is very grounded and quiet and mellow and laid back I know that's going to trigger some people but we all have negative traits this one happens to be in the reverse this one happens to be in the upright This is parting ways with somebody that can't master their emotions and choosing to invest in something that is more solid, more stable, more secure. And I feel, I feel as though they're doing that because it hasn't been working out. Something, somebody hasn't, something hasn't been working out with an emotionally dissatisfying individual who is all over the place. And there could be some addictions that are getting in the way of success. Somebody may have been dealing with somebody who has addictions that... Uh, cause them to not be able to master their emotions because you can't. It's kind of like a drunk when you're in the bar, when you're around a drunk and the dr alcohol is truth serum. <laughs> Everything comes out. You can't, you can't control a drunk. That's what, that's what drugs and alcohol is a drug do to you. You know, so I think we have somebody here that has some addictions that are causing something to be unsuccessful. Anyhow, um, there's a need for balance. There's a need for healing. And I feel like there's a change that is coming. I feel like there's going to be a termination or a separation or um, there's no chance of getting back together with an individual that can't control themselves. And I think there's an individual here in the future that they have decided to invest in that is more grounded. Wheel of Fortune, I knew there was going to be a change. That is a change. That is a positive change. That is life that is always changing. That is life that is in constant motion. This is a cycle that is coming to an end and a new cycle is beginning. So we definitely have a new beginning here. This is the wheel spinning somebody in a new direction. It's the wheel of change. So I do think that we have a positive change here. Something didn't work out with an individual that was all over the place and it wasn't love because I feel like there's a better practical, more solid, stable option right here there is somebody has been trapped in their mind they've been in a place of mental turmoil and I feel like they're gonna realize something I feel like they're gonna realize um, that they need to step outside of their comfort zone because I feel like there's another option here we have somebody here that has been staying put in a situation probably waiting for whoever it is that abandoned them to come rescue them but the time is up. That you gotta take care of yourself. Nobody's gonna take care of you but you. Anyhow, I feel like I feel, we definitely have a positive change here. I feel like um, there's a some somebody is relocating or they're gonna be investing in a new place, in a new spot, in a new option. They realize that this time is up. And I feel like they're going to be investing in something that is more practical. Put it that way. Somebody's also going to be receiving an offer that is, uh, that they can, if I want to say it's very fortunate. It's a very fortunate offer. This is going in a new direction, leaving the past behind. 
this is thinking about it. I think that somebody is going to be receiving an offer that puts them on the spot. You know, what should I do? And they're going to need to face their fears because I, I feel like I feel like there's an offer that is coming that is going to be there's going to be hesitation in taking that offer. Should I take the offer or shouldn't I take or shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I? And I feel like the hesitation has to do with, you know, uh, dealing with somebody that didn't love them in the past. Because there's a lack of love. This is the past. It is. There's a lack of love in the past. There's a lack of... Somebody probably got themselves into an unrequited love situation or they were cheated or lied to by somebody, which has caused them to emotionally withdraw from opening their heart. There is a positive option here. This is this is good luck. It's a good time to try new things. This is the wheel spinning somebody in a new direction. There could be a relocation that is coming up in the future. I feel like we have somebody here that needs to remove the blindfold and open themselves up and step into unknown territory and don't let the previous hurt, the previous sadness, the previous heartbreak hold them back. This is a meant to be change. Everything happens for a reason. This is trapped in fear. We have somebody here that the Queen of Coins is very independent, hardworking, focuses on their business, focuses on their job. I think we have an independent person that has been protecting themselves, playing it safe, and they're thinking about, you know, doing something different. But they have been hurt, obviously. And I've told multiple stories so far in this reading, and I do that a lot. I think we have somebody here that has been emotionally shut down and they are reluctant to invest. But I feel like a positive change is coming and, you know, perhaps it's time to give up the fight. I mean, the Five of Wands is, is giving up. It's, it's, uh, the end of a battle it's the end of, it's the end of a uh, conflict it's cooperating one more card wheel of fortune is positive change moving in a new direction nine of coins reverse so nine of coins reversed is you must take action right now this has to do with independence whether you're independent and you're going to get yourself into a new relationship or you're in a relationship and you're thinking about becoming independent. We have some thoughts going on here. I feel like we have somebody here that is thinking about their future. And I feel like um, they're thinking about their independence. And there's a need for discipline and there's a need to open up and there's a need to really contemplate your value and your worth during this time. And I think that's going to be the name of the game. Okay. And it, there is some sort of game here because of this five of pentacles or five of wands. That is a game. I think that, I think that the name of the game here is being realistic, being practical and thinking about what the next step is in regards to value and worth and independence. Singles could be meeting a person that they are meant to be with. This is a very positive change. Uh, couples that have been involved in a third party situation probably need, thir need profound healing and they need to invest in themselves. I feel like self-love is really needed here. Anyhow, um, the Nine of Pentacles reverse is also insecure. We have somebody here that is insecure. They are insecure about themselves or about investing in a uh, offer that is coming. They're in. They're feeling insecure about it, and they're feeling insecure because. Oh, 
of the previous betrayal, what becomes, what, like I said, with the Eight of Swords, what becomes before it is the Seven of Swords. So somebody has been betrayed pretty badly in the past, which has caused them to shut down emotionally. Anyhow, I feel like that, that this is a day of considering your value and considering opening your heart to something uh, and ending a previous chapter because there's an, op there's an opportunity to do that and go in a new direction with the Wheel of Fortune. This is good luck. It's a positive change that is coming. Somebody's about to... Re in, in Fortune, this is like the re reward. Somebody is going to be receiving a reward for all their hard work should they want it. And this is inner work. Inner work. So yeah. I would say that. And this is open up. I just cut it to the four of coins reverse. This is relax. Let go. Stop being so stubborn. Open up. Good luck.